you, buddy. Oh, there you go. Make sure I'm praying. All right. When was the last time you two were in one of my videos, huh? It's been a little while. Yeah. Well, I need some comfort, a lot of comfort right now, because I'm sure everyone in the whole world knows that Donald Trump is just elected president of the United States. Although, hold on. Yeah, yeah, as I'm recording this video, uh, was, uh, it says 98% of the popular vote counted. It says Hillary, Hillary Clinton uh, is beating Donald Trump by... Uh, uh, by a little bit more than 200,000 votes. So. You're a liquor. So, yeah, Hillary Clinton uh, won the popular vote, but lost the presidency. Hey, where you go? Get back here. Hold on, hold on. Come here. Come here. I need you. I need you. There you go. There you go. Yeah, so that's probably the perfect ending to this crazy, insane election that we've had. And, and yeah, I take a little bit of comfort in knowing that more Americans voted for Clinton than Trump, uh, even if it was such a small number. But now it just makes me mad that uh, if we had fixed this problem 16 years ago, when it last happened, hi, 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 then the Hillary Clinton would be president. Stop making noise. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like what I said in my Orlando gun control debate video rant what? Uh, that we don't change. America doesn't change enough and we need change, but not change uh, with Donald Trump. Not that kind of change. And you know, I've been posting on Facebook a lot about this election. Like, hi. One one of the posts I 
said that it just goes to show you how much sexism there still is in America when a woman who's the most qualified uh, person to be president uh, is losing to a man uh, who's never held public office and doesn't have a clear understanding of how the U.S. government works. And don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. And then my next post on Facebook, it was a long one. Uh, it was just, it was, uh, just my thoughts and feelings slash emotions on all of this. You sneeze on me. But my post, uh, in, in my post, I, uh, just, uh, uh, went on to say how much I'm afraid and scared for not just America, but the people in America. And I've talked about how I know people who are women, black, gay, trans, Muslim, a mixture of those are then disabled and, and other people who aren't like me and how I'm afraid for them. Hey, don't bite, don't bite, don't bite, no bite. Calm, calm down, calm down. And, and then I s said that, you know, I was through being silent and keep keeping my thoughts to myself. And I was going to speak up more and be more open and, and uh, fight back against any and all hate that I see. And, and then I ended with me saying that, that um, it may not happen overnight. I might need a little bit of time uh, to get a handle on it. But I've made up my mind that I am going to do this. I, I've been trying to do it for a long time, but my autism has been a hurdle in it. Uh, but, but I'm go, I'm doing this. I'm going to not remain silent. I'm going to speak up. So, yeah, I mentioned my autism, so now all my friends on Facebook know my uh, diagnosis, uh, in including some of my co-workers. I I'm friends with them on Facebook. So yeah, that was I guess my coming out uh, as aut autistic posts on Facebook, but I I just felt that I had to at least say something, and if I don't say it now, I might regret not saying it. And I thought about, I thought about this and 
I think I would rather have regrets for doing something than have regrets for not doing something. Because Because in, in life, you're going to have regrets. That's a guarantee. At least a couple. But if you do something and then later regret it, at least you know how it turned out. Where, it is, where if you... Uh, regret not doing something, you'll never know how it turned out if you would have done it. So yeah, that, that's my view and... And... You, you, you can probably see the Obama poster behind me. I, yeah, I was in Chicago eight years ago on election day when, uh, when he was elected president and, and I voted for him in Chicago and I was in, at Grant Park and saw him give, give a speech. It is a uh, acceptance speech. And, and so, I voted for Obama twice, and now Hillary Clinton, and I haven't voted for a white man for president yet. But, yeah, yeah, so... Oh, I don't... I'm not really help, hopeful right now. But one thing Trump was right about is that the system is rigged, but it was rigged uh, in his favor because he, he lost the vote of the American voters and still won the presidency. And, and for his presidency, uh, I've been hearing, hearing, I've heard that Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama say they hope that he succeeds as president and is a good president for all Americans. But, but for me, I hope that America succeeds and Trump doesn't. Uh, but like, it, like, if he actually tries to build that wall at the Mexican-American border, even though there's all sorts of mountains and valleys and rivers and private land that would make it extremely difficult, if not impossible, to build. build. But if he tries to build the wall, I hope he fails. And if he tries to deport all immigrants, I hope he fails. If he tries to ban all Muslims, from coming into the country, and I hope he fails. And if, if he tries to go to war or start another war, I, I hope he fails. So, so basically, I hope that 
America stays the same. Uh, uh, for the next four years. Yeah, no change. Because I don't see it changing for the better in the next four years. Uh, you two are so lucky that you don't understand humans. All you ever think about is when are you going to get fed and go out for walks. Yeah. Yeah, that's all you two think about. Too bad I wasn't a dog. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, so this video wasn't like my normal vlog uh, so far. I still haven't told anyone about these vlogs. Maybe I will now that I've come out as uh, having autism. But, We'll just see, uh, see what happens.